Welcome you back. Welcome back to Minecraft through the night. Seasons new Stone Age dog season six. Oh yeah, we're working on part chest, crafting station, part um, builder. How I make that? Uh, Okay, there's a part builder. Yep. Uh huh. Now, man, I have to remember how to do this. Hmm. music yeah. okay four five six we've got all these part builder part wooden things If I ah, oh, the music, I'm just enjoying the music. One of my favorite Minecraft songs. Okay, we got part builder, part chest. Going on memory here. Oh, we're all we're all done. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get the stuff. Should it not drain? There's got to be a problem with the way I've got these orientated. Oriented. Got to be a problem. With it. Doesn't that go to the inside? Maybe, 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 maybe. Is 
Sorry for my silence. I'm just lost in thought. Oops. Maybe I needed to be like the bottom level. there's a tool required for nevertheless I mean I like I actually I like I prefer this configuration better Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe this itself, this thing itself, is the smelter. Maybe that's why I don't see it in this smeltery. seem to do it either okay well we will do other things while I um, think about this some more and then I'll see if I can find documentation on this read it offline something not right okay it has been a long time since I messed around with this though so let's see and meanwhile we've got other uh, things to do upstairs The um, book for Tinkers doesn't seem to be working yet. Let's see, we've got a part builder, part chest. So far, so good. If I remember right, like the way, what we need to do next is to create molds. I get that iron out of there and then put some gold in there and create gold molds for the future parts for the real parts and then pour you know the materials into those molds that's that's as I recall part chest part builder crafting station there's another station ooh loom composter barrel yep yeah. Vanilla stuff, vanilla stuff, yep. A kill brought in by environmental honey pot. So a crafting a tinker station. Okay. A tinker station. Let's definitely grab that. Put that there. Uh -huh. Okay. And this is for repair and modify. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Got 
cut it. Station, tinker station, all basically all uh, just different using different woods, which result in different textures and colors. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. Well. Our patterns up there. We've got all, let's see, there are nine patterns. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got nine. And we got them all. Okay. Sleep through Minecraft Night 32. Good morning, sun. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah. I was talking with a lady from Vietnam today. Her name is Ann. Ann Nguyen. She is, um, she works at she's a very smart, very educated lady, but as is the case with many uh, of the folks who were Vietnamese refugees from uh, Vietnam during and shortly after the Vietnam War, she um, she came to the U.S. and because of her poor command of English, could not get a job in her old her former uh, field. And and so <clears throat> she works, uh, helps a family friend with the um, uh, restaurant, the Lai uh, Thai restaurant in town in Oklahoma City. <clears throat> One of my absolute favorite restaurants in the whole metro, perhaps the favorite restaurant of mine in the whole metro. Okay. Um, uh, I've got this cobble. I want to run over to the other place and get more cobble. That skeleton unnerves me just a teeny bit every time I see him. Or her. I haven't had it. We need a gender reveal on our skeleton. Need a gender reveal. You know what would be funny? It'd be to use these iron bars and make like a stick man. That would not be funny at all, dog. Okay. All right. All right. Just, <clears throat> just a thought, man. You know, just, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Well, my Fitbit. I was telling you about my Fitbit. Um, that thing. Not the not the bird. The Fitbit. Um, that is, it is <clears throat> truly an amazing thing. And I, <clears throat> I think I was telling you last time how I always dreamed of having like a personal trainer, somebody to be kind of in my face all the time saying, get up, move, what you doing, you old lard ass, you know, <laughs> um, Almost, in fact, a, a military drill instructor kind of a person. Well, the Fitbit does that. It's almost like, you know, you get what you wish for sometimes. And um, and the Fitbit does it, and it's like, okay, I got, I, well, I mean, uh, who? There's no management to complain to. <laughs> you know, there's nobody to say, come on, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Nobody, nobody, nobody gonna say that. Well, fiddlesticks. I was about to plant. Snap. Just about to plant my watermelon seed in the daggum thing. Grew. So where's my sigh? Give me the hole. Where you at, hole? over here oh okay there we go <clears throat> okay let's go over to the other place the mine chart well fiddle and again fiddle sticks where's my crows I appreciate if you wouldn't eat my melon stems help yourself to my crops okay but don't not my melon stems, bro. It's getting annoying. 
Uh, so I have been um, I, I've been averaging my 10,000 steps a day I think I think I've gotten 10,000 steps a day every day but one and the shame of that one day has just driven me every day after it's like every day I'm like Fitbit's like lol you got 7,000 steps bro you're not gonna make it and I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'm not losing to you, Fitbit. That's pretty much my thought process. I look at my Fitbit and I'm going, oh no, no, no. Not losing to you this time. And these are cute. Flowering rush. I'm going to plant those when I get back. Um, and that's how it works. I ain't going to let no Fitbit beat me. <laughs> Oh. so yeah um, and that's why it's so darn successful for me I'm um, it's 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 not like it's not like oh yeah I'm gonna beat my goal today I'm gonna make it it's more like oh I ain't gonna let no watch beat me not today Where does that even, I mean, being competitive against a watch, I mean, well, I mean, I was a runner, I, I know about that watch thing, but this is kind of a surprise to me, and, I, and, a, and a welcome surprise, I should say, I, I sound like I'm griping, and it's just, uh, it's fake griping, it's faux griping, I'm, I'm griping, but it's like, how dare you make me get in shape? How dare you? There's a... Oof. There's a giant hole in the ground we haven't explored yet. <clears throat> Possibly f completely full of... Stone. Well... Here we are in mid-afternoon of day two and I still haven't gotten my head out of my ass and figured out what I'm doing. So what are we doing for this episode? I don't know, dog. What are we doing? When I figure that out, I'll let you know. Okay, I like that better. That's better. That's, uh, yeah. That thing, that banner blowing in the wind looks like it's watching me. Guessing not. We do not have three fence posts. Uh, you know what other mod I want? Man, I want, I want my computer mod that put all my inventory in the computer so I can find it all. Do I have a pressure plate? I don't have a flipping pressure plate. Okay, well, let's. Can I make one out of cobble? Cannot. You know something else we haven't done? The guide. We haven't read the guidebook. I think the first day I was like, yeah, we've got all this kind of stuff. But, uh, but that was all. Got our 
Okay, so we put those there and those, so then with those two, and then those two, and then that, and then that one, okay. Bip, bip, and on top of it go these two bips. One bip, oh, I'm gonna need one more of those. Bip, bip. I need one more like that. Do I have another? Oh, I got one of those. How about instead of that, how about one of those? You know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you can't hear my head rattle or anything and know my thoughts, but I'm just thinking about all the fun we've had in Minecraft through the night over the years. Think about the mine colonies, you know, when we use the mine colonies mod which is still being very much um, actively updated. Perhaps something we can get into again someday. What do you, shall we go ahead and just move our inventory over yonder? Oh, moon. Good night, moon. Good evening, moon. Dear moon, send dog to the moon. Circumlunar transfer orbit complete. What do you think? Do you let 61 year old dog go to the moon? <clears throat> I'm healthy. I'm healthy. We got sunshine. Good morning, sun. I'm gonna stay behind the mask. Oh, here's my furnaces. Furnace side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Materials, oh yeah. All right, well let's just grab you, 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 you. you know one thing in Stardew Valley, which I play a lot of, play a lot of Stardew Valley. There is this um, um, one aspect of it is that um, as you Let's say you click something out of in inventory here in the top left. Everything else just kind of ratchets up to take it pl its place. And it lets you quickly and easily... Um, I mean, you can see what you're getting, but you can also pull your inventory out in a hurry. Yeah, let's make a quick messenger trip over here. Road trip back and forth. Supply line. Not hauling empty, as my neighbor Bud used to say. I miss that old geezer. That old dude, he was the toughest man. He, The dude broke his leg, and he refused to go. He wouldn't go to the doctor. He's like, I'd heal. He's like, I'm old. They don't want to see somebody like me. <laughs> you know? I mean, that dude was just... I I really appreciated that that man. And he and his wife moved up to Tulsa years ago and of course I lost all touch with him not that it's not like we weren't like good buddies it's just for at least 15 years I'd see him out in the front yard working on his stuff and holler at him speak speak at him for a minute and I mean you know we weren't really friends but we were good neighbors, and you miss a good neighbor. You do. You know, whether it's somebody you talk to frequently or or seldom, if they were a good neighbor and friendly, you miss them. Um, yeah, so... His, um, his spouse kind of scared me. She, there's some women in this world that scare me. I'm tell, I'm telling you, I, there are not a whole lot of men that scare me, because I'm just ornery. I'm ornery. I. But there are some women that do. Oh yeah. His wife. I think she's about 112 years old or something. I mean, she was She wasn't that old, but you know, she was. Man. She had a big chunk of her stomach taken out 
but she refused to let them do radiation or chemo. She had cancer, and uh, she just she was too tough to die. I mean, no disrespect for anybody who you know who who um, cancer gets the better of, but that that woman was just. Woo, she was a tough one. Mean? <laughs> there was one time, I'm ashamed of myself for saying this. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself for that this happened, not for revealing it to you, but there was a time when, during trick-or-treat, trick-or-treaters came to my house, and I said, I said, you watch out for that woman next door. She's a witch, and I ain't joking. And I gave them that serious look, you know, like, I ain't joking. You know, with the thin mouth. And they, they knew I, those kiddos knew I wasn't joking. And they looked over next door and their, their eyes got so big. And I never told them that I was joking. So... Yeah, maybe um, maybe that was maybe I did her wrong. Man, she was a tough one. She wanted a T-bird for her birthday, and I'll be darned if Bud didn't go out and buy her a red T-bird. No, red. No, it was black. She was so proud of that car, little black. You know, the modern era T-bird. Oh, she was so proud of that car. Ooh, these won't. Come on, man. Oh, they have to go in deep water a bit. Yep. That is a flowering rush. Well, that is really pretty. I approve. Let's get back over to the other place. Again. As we were just saying. Before I forgot it. Horses and some cows and some sheep. We got lots of livestock. I want bison, you know. I want tall grass prairie and short grass prairie out in my front yard. I want to, I want to preserve for the future, you know. I'm talking about Minecraft, but I'll be darned. I I want it for real life too. We should totally be returning our land to the prairie grass. so that future generations, I mean, not just to know the bison and the buffalo, not just for that, but because there was a natural harmony to that. There was a natural ecosystem, natural bees, natural flowers, natural cycle, you know, uh, the sod, prairie dogs, and whatever and all this cattle ranching we've done and farming we've done over the years has destroyed so many ecosystems and we should just walk away from a bunch of it and let that stuff come back and help it come back you know do what we can to cleanly get rid of invasive species and um, restore the ancient ecosystems that we're doing just fine I think I think a big part a big chunk of that's gonna happen naturally um, as lab-grown meat becomes popular as it becomes good and high quality and popular you know cheap um, and I, I totally will be you know, buying that stuff when it's in my when it's affordable for me. Um, there's a you know my students in the in the, at the university were often horrified at the thought of lab grown meat, but you know imagine what that's going to do to um, imagine how much land that's going to free up 
as it comes to reality. Imagine how much um, cheap land that will free up because you can't run cattle on it. You can't really make money on it. Um, there'll be there'll be a chance for um, you know people to have affordable land patches of land they can have a small little what you used to call a truck garden you know garden that would provide for you and your family and also a little bit extra to put on the truck and take to um, take to the market well, speaking of which the uh, Oklahoma City farmers market is coming back soon um, coming back it starts on Saturday and I've got it penciled into my carrots tomorrow man tomorrow you better believe I'm getting up early for that we have a local really good local band that's gonna perform it's um, whose name I can't even tell you but they're, they're good they'll be performing starting at 11 o'clock alright it's just about nightfall we not gonna be able to make it to the other place before nightfall but we can try we need to leave that stuff there Leave a chest there for anything we might find in the caverns in the mine system, which we, I guess we found two or three um, carts, loot carts, but there wasn't really anything good on them. I guess there were some music discs on them. I guess that's, I guess that's about as good as it gets. There might have been an emerald in one of them. Fireflies. Oh man, I love it. Like a boy down in Georgia chasing fireflies, putting them in a jar. Somebody in my neighborhood once uh, recently posted, said, where are all the frogs? I remember there used to be so many frogs when I was a kid here. And um, I mean, what are, what are you going to tell them? What am I going to tell the guy? All this lawn herbicides and pesticides we've been using has killed them destroyed their ability to reproduce and they've died out I mean I'm sure there are some surviving populations in creeks and storm sewer drains but um, they could they could reestablish if we you know just quit killing and poisoning everything they could certainly reestablish. Just have to leave them be. Woof. Okay. Let's let's put away some of this stuff as we can. Which might not be much. Let's grab. I guess we might want more. Um, Glass, that's a word. Grab the clay. I need to do something with that clay. I wish there was a way I could uh, add anything in my inventory that's also in that chest. I'd like to be able to automatically add it. I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know if it's possible even. Okay, these go there, there. We're gonna need torches too. As soon as I can get around to remembering it. I 
Well, I hope uh, hope everything's going well for you today, and the top of the day to you, and top of the night, top of the year, top of all things. I'll bring this episode to a close just as soon as I clean up my clean myself up here. sort okay and I think we're cleared oops those and let's I guess we can put that there sticks and Stays too. Okay, we'll get up here and we'll sort it tomorrow. I'll see you next time from Minecraft through the night. Beautiful night here in Tower of X.